Showdown Part 2 is such an intense episode of Cheers and of course a brilliant episode. This is the final episode of the first season, episode 22, directed of course by the brilliant James Burroughs. And there will be spoilers I think in this discussion. Sometimes my Cheers discussions don't contain spoilers but I feel like this is such an important message that or important episode rather, that I do want to um, talk a little bit about certain spoiler things. So I'm just going to say spoilers from now, but I won't spoil anything that happens in future episodes. It starts off uh, rather quite fun with uh, everybody cleaning cheers. It's very brief, it's not connected to the main narrative as is often the case with the, the uh, openings. But uh, somebody comes in who's working in a biology lab as a janitor and everybody is running around after he leaves to clean the place from potentially hazardous substance substances. And it's just really great to see characters like Norm and uh, other characters who usually are seated or not moving around too much to actually get up and be quite physically active. And it doesn't happen that often. I just thought it was a really, really great start. Obviously, the majority of the episode focuses on Sam and Diane, and this picks up from the previous episode where Diane is going out with Sam's brother. Again, the brother is absent in this. Uh, I thought, In fact, he's not even in the bar. In the previous episode, he was in the bar, but we could never see him because of how well it was filmed. He's not even there in this one, which I think was uh, a really good decision. And he has invited Diane to go to Paris with him, and Diane is kind of considering it, but she really just wants to stay with Sam. But Sam will not admit that he feels the same way. And there's this really lovely discussion between Diane and Coach. And it's actually quite a lengthy discussion. Not in a bad way, but you know, usually the discussions are shorter before we either bring in another character or there's a change of topic. But this really heartfelt discussion between Diane opening her heart to Coach and Coach sharing not necessarily too many intimate details about Sam, but certainly there are a few things shared that we don't previously know. And I thought it was a really moving discussion. And then of course, Norm comes in and injects a little bit of humor there right when we needed it. And then a lot of the episode takes place in Sam's office and it's just Sam and Diane. Although when Sam opened the door, absolutely loved it. I just thought the way everybody was positioned was just so spot on and the timing of it was just perfect. Uh, and I really enjoyed that moment. But the rest of it is so intense and beautiful. And I, I do feel like it got a bit too aggressive for my liking. It went a, went a bit too far towards anger rather than frustration, particularly with Sam. That's, you know, Sam threatening violence, wanting to, I think, bounce Diane off of the walls, which I think was a, uh, maybe a tiny step too far towards violence rather than frustration. But I still found it to be brilliantly performed and because it is so intense I think bringing in the blackboard, the chalkboard, which makes me feel sick just thinking about it was uh, a good way to bring in some humour. And I also really appreciate that they didn't amplify the sound of my stomach's churning just thinking about it. They didn't amplify the sound of the chalkboard too much because had they done it would have been really uncomfortable to listen to that part of the episode but I think they got the sound balance there spot on so that we could kind of hear it but not so much that it was difficult to listen to although I do now have goosebumps on my arms thinking about it it's such a horrible sound um, but very cleverly done and ultimately how this episode concluded I just thought was such a great way to end a really powerful season do I think Sam and Diane are good for each other? Based purely on this first season and these last few episodes, honestly, I don't know. Because on the one hand, I think Sam and Diane is a great story arc and it's brought a lot of humour and emotions. But at the same time, they are kind of chalk and cheese. So it, based on that, I guess, it's very unclear what their relationship is going to be like or even, you know, what it'll be like through the next season. Of course, I, I know I've seen it, but I won't talk about it just now. But it's definitely unpredictable. But this is a really solid episode. A really great way to end a really fantastic first season and definitely leaves things open for, for what season two might bring. Cannot wait to get stuck in with season two again. And I have to say... This final episode was just brilliantly done.